Hello, grade 5 learners. Welcome to my science class. We are now in quarter 3, week 6, and our lesson is electromagnetism. The competency for today's lesson is design and experiment to determine the factors that affect the strength of the electromagnet. To start with, let us have a review of our previous lesson. Last week, we talked about series and parallel circuit. A series circuit, electric current flows through a single path. So when one bulb is loosened or busted, all the other bulbs in this circuit will not light anymore. A parallel circuit, on the other hand, has light bulbs with different loops. Thus, each bulb is a part of a different circuit. When one bulb is loosened, taken, or burned out, the other bulbs still light up. Identify the following if it is a series or parallel circuit. Series circuit. Parallel circuit. Series circuit. Parallel circuit. Series circuit. Electricity and magnets are closely related to each other. Electricity can produce magnets while magnets can produce electricity. A magnet is usually made of iron. It can attract objects such as pins, coins, and other materials made of iron and steel. A nail is not a magnet, but it can be turned into one. This is done by coiling a wire around it and then letting electricity to flow through it. Doing this turns the nail into an electromagnet. An electromagnet attracts like a real magnet. It can attract materials made of metals, like pins and thumbtacks. The iron nail acts as a magnet while electricity is flowing through the coil of wire. When electricity stops flowing through the coil to the nail, can the nail still attract the pins and thumbtacks? No. It can no longer attract the pins and thumbtacks. Electromagnets are temporary magnets. When electricity stops flowing through a coil of wire, the nail stops attracting any metal or magnetic material. How to make an electromagnet stronger? An electromagnet can be made stronger by using more coils of wire. Each turns of the wire adds more force to the electromagnet. The number of dry cells also affects the strength of an electromagnet. More dry cells mean more electrons flowing in the electromagnet and therefore stronger magnetism is produced. The size of the iron core also matters. The greater the size of the iron core, the stronger magnetism an electromagnet has. The uses of electromagnets Many appliances, modern gadgets, and even toys are made of electromagnets. 
electromagnets are used in transmitting signals through telephones, radio, and television. Commercial establishments make use of generators, transformers, and motors which are made of electromagnets. A crane that lifts heavy objects is also made of an electromagnet. And now, let's do the activity. Write the word true if the statement is correct. If the statement is false, replace the underlined words to make the statement true.